Right, so today I'm showing off how I record my video games, so it's Shadowplay with split audio tracks. Now, natively, Shadowplay does not allow for split audio tracks, so every piece of audio is mushed into one track, which for some people is not bearable. For me, it is not. I like to split my mic track, my game sound, and my TS track, so I can edit them all individually. Now, unfortunately, Shadowplay does not allow for this. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is, so you gotta look for alternatives here. And the alternative is to combine Shadowplay with the Xtory. So the basis is that you use the Xtory to record all the audio tracks and then Shadowplay to record the uh, video track. And then you combine the two. So this guide is assuming that you already have split audio tracks. So uh, either some hardware, either virtual audio cable or voice meter or whatever else is out there. I won't go over the installation of that, but just pick one of those things and... Yeah, I'm going to assume you already have that. So that is the basis of this tutorial. So what you're going to need is one of those things, Shadowplay. So you're going to need like a 600 plus series of NVIDIA graphics card to be able to use Shadowplay. And uh, the Xtory, which is uh, a recording program. So if you've got all three of those, then you're uh, you're in the right direction. So we're going to start off with Shadowplay. I'm going to open that up. So recording mode manual. I mean, you can put this on whatever you want. Then quality... I use custom in-game 60 FPS and 130 megabits per second. I think this might be dependent on your card, how far you can get this up, but uh, with the in-game resolution, you can bump it up the highest, I do believe. If you use 1080, I think the max is uh, 50 megabits, but as that, then we go to audio right here. In-game and microphone. You could leave this on in-game, but it's going to make syncing more difficult, and we're not going to use this audio anyway, so I would go for in-game and microphone. As for the other settings, uh, I use a recording status indicator plus FPS counter in the top right corner and control plus F12 for uh, starting the recording. So that is that. Shadow we got down. Now we're going to go over to X story right here. So one little thing you might want to do is um, have a non-recording status indicator in the top right corner so you can see whether uh, the X story is or is not recording. There is a slight issue though that if you do start recording and there is a uh, the Xtory recording indicator that that will show up on your Shadowplay footage. So a way to get around that is just to have this recording status indicator blank, so opacity zero right here. So this allows you to know whether or not Shadowplay and the Xtory are both recording or not recording. I mean, if you fiddle around with this, it will all make sense. But recording status indicator for the Xtory, leave that opacity at zero right here. And uh, as for the audio, let's just split audio tracks right here. So we got our game audio, our uh, TS audio, and our mic audio right here. I mean, I'm assuming you already know this part, so I'm kind of brushing over this, but this is just the basis of having split audio lines. Then we move over to the video tab. So this is pretty standard. We're using Lagriff Lossless Codec, which is uh, out there on the internet. The standard settings that pretty much everybody uses. YV12 multi threading. This is the important bit right here. So frame rate 2 FPS. As I said, we're using the Xtory's audio, not the video. So we're putting the video quality as low as possible. So 2 FPS and 1% recording scaling. So for some reason, only the recording percentage will work for me. So yeah, we're basically making the footage look really terrible. 1%, the recording is gonna look really pixelated. And at 2 FPS, so the basis is that this recording does not really take up any of your CPU usage. So you get more frames as well. And that is pretty much it, so. Now what you do when you go in-game, um, I forgot to mention this actually. My key press for recording with the Xtory is F12. So when you get in game, I press Ctrl F12 and it starts recording the Xtory as well as Shadowplay. Now, this does not cover fully 100% syncing right here, but it'll pretty much make every track the same size. So once you've recorded a segment with both of these programs, make sure they're both recording. So audio with the Xtory, video with Shadowplay. And then we're going to go open up Vegas, so this is what it's going to look like. This is one track right here, so this is Shadowplay, this is the video footage, and this is the X story right here. As I said, it looks like a potato right here at 2 FPS. It looks absolutely god-awful, but it does have audio tracks. So this is game audio, this is uh, TeamSpeak audio, and this is microphone audio right here. 
So what you do is first you disable resampling because Vegas and then what you do is you press U on this right here and then you delete the video file from uh, DX Story. So now you got nice clean audio right here. So we're gonna drag this over below Shadow Play's video footage and as you can see it's already syncing up quite nicely right here but it requires some further syncing so one thing you want to do is make sure that your recorded segments are not too awfully long because eventually it will sort of get out of sync uh, ever so slightly so good time is around 20 minutes depending on how long you play uh, just start and restart the recording and all the segments will pretty much be the same length but yeah they'll be more syncable I guess as in syncable not Okay, anyways. So yeah, you look for the middle segment of this and then you start lining it up. So we can see this is pretty much the same. And then we look for one specific cue and then we drag that over. So we can see this wrestling right here is pretty much the same. And then what you do is you select everything, press G to group it, and then it's just one group right here. And that is your fell. And then we mute this and bam, there we go. We got nice 60 FPS footage on top and split audio track below. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. I would pretty much only actually advise this for uh, games that are really CPU intensive. I mean, if you're playing something like CSGO, you probably just want to go for the story with 60 FPS if you're really into split audio tracks. But for Arma, it's worth the extra frames because the story 60 FPS on Arma takes up uh, a lot of frames, whereas Shadowplay does not. It barely affects your frames at all. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. It requires some extra manual syncing, but overall, once you get down to it, it's pretty easy, and it becomes second nature. So yeah, that was my uh, recording guide right there. I mean, I know this probably will only apply to like five people that watch this video, but uh, I found it to be a pretty dandy trick. So yeah, hope you enjoyed.